We've got another wet and windy day here in South Wales today. Ugh. Check out our weather forecast today. Rain, 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 rain. Next day. Rain, 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 rain. Next day. Strong winds and heavy rain. Rain, 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 rain. And Sunday. Heavy rain and a fresh breeze. Rain, 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 rain. In fact, we've got a yellow weather warning for rain over all the four days. In other news that I read this morning on the Wales Online app, Qualifications Wales is advising the government in Wales to not have sittings of GCSE or AS level exams next summer, but instead to focus on coursework and a different sort of assessment system within class. So let's see what happens with that. Izzy is not awake yet, so I haven't delivered the news to her. She's having a bit of a sleep in, it's quite late. I've been up for quite a while, I've just been pottering around to be honest. Here's the puzzle I'm working on at the moment. It's the Flying Scotsman. It's quite tricky actually, but I'm getting there slowly. I'm gonna pop that away now so I've got some space. Oh, that was a funny crunch. It's ruckering up. Oh well, I can easily put it back together. Oh look, IB has lent me this graphics tablet and pen <laughs> for doing my thumbnails. I mentioned to him that it's one of the things I would eventually buy myself when I, you know, wasn't skint. <laughs> um, and he said, oh, I've got one lying around at home, you can borrow it. So here we are, I'm going to give that a go today. This really reminds me of an old fashioned ink well, you know, the dipping pens. <laughs> Aww. I'm really late getting started again today. It is 11.25. Come on, Imogen, sort yourself out. Oh, I'm annoyed with myself. It's because, I know why it is, it's because I wrote a to-do list, but I did not write any times next to what I was going to do. It makes all the difference. Anyway, I'm going to make a start. Oh, by the way, what I actually put the camera on for. So I tell you, I've been starting to get some pains in my arms, and I think it's too much of this. I gave it a bit of a rest last night. Why's my um, laptop all wet? Oh, because I got wet sleeves. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my thumbnail now and I'm going to have a go with this pen for the first time. It's kind of scary. <laughs> oh, it takes a while to get used to new things. Oh, I think it's going to be really good once I get used to it though. You know with a mouse, like if I was to like put it there and then pick it up off the table and just put it somewhere else, it will just carry on from where it left off on the screen. This one doesn't, because as I hover it around, like it's low enough like that, it, it's moving around on the screen as well. <laughs> so it's a bit disconcerting. Okay, oh, it's so weird. Oh, wow. And it moves a lot slower on the screen as well compared to the mouse. Oops, no, that was the wrong place. Undo button. <laughs> Maybe sometime. Well, I'm just stopping for a coffee break and there's some fair old banging going on next door. We've got new neighbours in next door and I thought that the renovations had been completed before they moved in, but apparently not. Oh well, it brightens up an otherwise dull day, I suppose. I'm taking a little break to sort out my washing because it's just done. The uh, noises from next door are a little bit distracting. I need, ideally, to be transcribing a tune for my boyfriend today that he's asked me to do. I don't really need to. He's already done it and he wants me to check it, but I find it easier sometimes to just do it from scratch because I can be prejudiced by what I see in the notation and it can influence the way I interpret the tune. He wasn't sure about time signature and stuff like that. But if there's banging going on, it's gonna really put me off because I can't not listen to the banging. There was a very extraordinary pong in my bedroom last night. I do not know what it was. Um, I sniffed the bin. <laughs> it was not coming from the bin. <laughs> don't know what it could have possibly been in the bin, but you know, it's one of those likely places. I thought maybe Izzy had come in and drop some food in there or something. No, it wasn't the bin. Sniffed the laundry basket. It wasn't the basket. I'm washing clothes anyway. Um, <laughs> 
I wondered if it might have been wet clothes because sometimes Isabel gets wet towels and dumps them in the laundry basket and they end up covered with other things and then they start going manky. I keep telling her but she keeps forgetting. Um, but it wasn't that. And I sniffed all round everywhere in my room late last night and just couldn't find anything. And this morning I couldn't smell it, but then I thought, well, what if I've just got used to it? But I've gone out of the room back in several times and I can't smell it. So that was very mysterious. Oh no. Another pair of socks nearly going through. I bought these in Albufeira on a holiday. It was only from one of these um, ultra cheap budget shops, you know. They were probably like two euros for three pairs or something like that. But I'm, I'm attached to them because they're my holiday socks. So, uh, oh, I've already had to get rid of one pair this lockdown. <laughs> I am daft. Finished. I'm going to go back in there now and get on with what I was doing. My internet has gone down. What a pest. It's been doing this for ages. There's always a way. I'm doing it on my phone, on my data instead. <laughs> Comments, that is. I'm trying to um, get used to the swipey method of inputting. It takes a bit longer to get used to things at first, doesn't it, when you change? But uh, it's worth investing a bit of time to get used to it, I think. It can speed you up in the long run. I'm finally actually looking at my to-do list instead of just vaguely remembering what I wrote on it. And I have got the vlog up, done the comments, done a laundry load, hung it out to dry. And now I'm going to cook stew to use up all the vegetables prior to going shopping, probably tomorrow. I've been playing the fire break game, as it were, you know, following the rules, um, only going out when essential. So although, yes, I could have gone out and bought shopping yesterday, I could survive without it. So <laughs> I've run out of a few things now. My list is growing, but I'll use up all the veg today and then... I'll either go tonight or tomorrow. So that said, I could live on tinned and frozen goods for the whole of the duration, I dare say. Where does one draw the line, I wonder? This is the entire collection of vegetables that I have in the fresh department. I have lots of tinned and frozen as well. But anyway, I've got some celery, which is past its best, and I haven't even opened it because it got forgotten about. Look, it's going a bit manky, so I'm gonna pull out the best bits and use that. Three peppers. Probably won't use all of them because they're still good. Spring onions, mushrooms, broccoli, and I'll cut that stalk. I'll peel the stalk a bit and put that in as well. Yeah, so I'm going to go and work some magic on that. I fancy butter beans today. Butter beans, yummy. When I last went shopping, I couldn't find any pumpkins, and Izzy wanted one to carve, but I've been thinking, shall I let her get a little knife and cut some tiny eyes, mouth and nose out of this orange pepper and put one of those little battery operated tea lights in there. Might be fun. Here's my stew. I'm going to cover that now and let it cook slowly while I deal with that. There's my stew. Izzy's going to eat later because she hasn't that long ago had breakfast. I must admit this is the first day since lockdown started in March that I'm feeling a little bit bored. It's my own fault. It's totally my own fault. I've got a big list of things to do. It's just I don't really feel very inspired to do any of those things. So I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to eat my lunch, watch a vlog, and then try to get motivated for the rest of it. I want to walk, even though it's peeing down with rain, but I have got quite a big list of things that I really want to get done today. That was very yummy. Right. I need to become more motivated for the rest of this afternoon. It's nearly dark already. What time is it? Half oh, three? Nearly half past three. Can't believe it. It's just grey, dark, miserable, windy. The washing line's like thrashing around like that outside my window right now. Anyway, I'm going to try and get into some kind of live chat with GoPro because my GoPro is lovely, but it's very, very naughty. Yes, it is, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. This GoPro likes to turn itself on randomly and start recording when I'm out of the room even, when nobody's even anywhere near it. And then I come back and I try to record with it and it says the SD is full. And I find that there's nearly two hours worth of footage on there of me and Isabel just bimbling around our front room or just a quiet room with nobody in it. So that's random. It also likes to turn itself off randomly while I'm trying to film with it. It also likes to refuse to turn on or refuse to turn off. And the amount of times I've had to whip the battery out and reset it that way is unbelievable. And also the crackling, it was back again. I thought the firmware update had sorted out the crackling on the audio, but apparently not. You are a very naughty camera. So I'm gonna try and sort it out now. 
and I will not film it because it's going to be very boring but I'll let you know how I got on in a minute when I've done it. An hour and a half later and it's now dark but I've just finished that live chat, that's literally how long it took. They were very attentive, they talked me through all manner of things and I had to submit a clip including the crackling sound which took a bit of time because I wasn't expecting to do it. Uh, but anyway, I managed to do that, uploaded something that's a YouTube, put it on as unlisted, sent them a link. Lots of things and updated the firmware manually by putting this, the SD card straight into the laptop and following loads of steps and then that was not working and I had to delete all my cookies and all that sort of stuff. Oh my goodness. Anyway, obviously I don't know if it's worked or not yet, but I can get back in touch and quote the case number that will bring up that whole dialogue again and uh, they said have my receipt to hand next time if that hasn't worked. If that hasn't worked it will be the camera so we'll see over the next few days. This has not been the most interesting of vlogs, this is the thing with daily vlogging sometimes you just got a really boring day. But anyway I've gone through it, it's quite pleasant to have some human interaction to be honest, I'm you know all on my own here with Isabel and half the time she's up in her room, more than half the time. But anyway, my dad has phoned and I missed the call. I didn't realise, so I'm going to ring him back now and uh, probably have a chat for a bit. It is now six o'clock. I've just got off the phone to my dad. I think today is just one of those days you need to just draw a line under it and move on. I feel like I have achieved nothing except merely purely existing. I didn't do any reading with Izzy. I haven't done any maths with Izzy. She's taken total advantage of me being occupied and she hasn't done any maths because she's been like, hee hee hee, I'm gonna wait till mum asks and then mum didn't ask and it's, it's really quite late now. <sighs> it's getting on for dinner time. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make myself a cuppa. I'm gonna have instant coffee and I'm gonna sit and edit what I've got today so far and see if it's even worth publishing <laughs> and then decide what to do after that. It'll be time to cook dinner after that because it's literally 10 past six now. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what we're having for dinner. I seem to not be being very organized today. I had stew for lunch, that was nice. There's a bit left, Izzy's had some of that. Mm. Oh, I'll decide later. I'm onto the dregs now, I really am. There's barely any veg left in the fridge. Oh, do you know what? I might try one of these things. You know, I bought a load of these tinned things for the emergency store cupboard. Oh, what about a bit of that? I really want real coffee. I'm going to have decaf though, fully decaf. I have to say, one good thing about this GoPro is the fact that it's waterproof. When I'm doing things like this, when I'm filming myself washing up and cooking, I can just flick that on and off button with my wet hands and I know it's not going to break the camera. With the other one, I have to stop what I'm doing, get a tea towel, wipe my hands, do the on or off button. I have to flick the lens thingy up, pull the flip screen out. With this, it's just literally, it's so convenient. This smells so good. I'm really looking forward to it actually. Now if I'd have had instant, I would have made it by now though. That's the only problem. Well, so far the GoPro is working okay in that it is turning on and off all right without crashing. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and work now and see what I've got and I'll speak to you after that. Well, I proposed to Izzy to have tinned food and she just wanted meaty ravioli. So she's making herself meaty ravioli from a tin say making she's taking it out of the tin and heating it up and she says she's going to eat a pepper with it Peppers are yummy. because she'd rather do that than cook veg or eat cooked veg i'm reheating my stew from earlier and i bought a load of these uh, spelts the other day uh, they were reduced to clear there's no price tag on them but they were something like 50p a tin so i bought quite a lot of those so i'm just going to bulk it up with that for my dinner and that is the end of the vlog hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like and comment and subscribe for more videos from me and mummy even though i'm not in them that much it's mostly her so if you like me don't subscribe but if you like mummy subscribe okay bye